Welcome to a new Disney vlog series. I can't believe I'm saying that again so soon after the last one. I only got back in November. It's the end of January, it's the 26th today and we are heading up to Heathrow in about an hour's time. I'm still just finishing off a few last bits of packing but I am so excited to be going again already. I'm going with Kate this time, you'll see her in a second. We are just absolutely beyond excited. She hasn't been for a while now. It seems crazy after such a long gap of not being able to go and then going twice this close together. And for anyone who's new to my channel, maybe this is the first video you're seeing. Hi and welcome, my name's Victoria and I have loads of Disney vlogs on this channel, so be sure to go ahead and subscribe. But I just can't wait to get the last few things packed in the suitcase and then head off. We are getting a lift to Heathrow so we are not driving or getting public transport so we don't need to worry about anything like that. Then we need to go and have our Covid test this evening. I will be talking you guys through all of that because things have changed slightly since the last trip and things can change all the time so we'll be talking you through everything that happens this time. We're flying with British Airways which is different as well so we're going from a different terminal, a different airline and I always just like to show as many different things as possible in all of the vlogs. So I I hope you guys are excited. If you are, give this video a thumbs up. So let's finish this packing. And here is my travel companion doing our makeup at the last minute. We are literally like 10 minutes away from leaving or something. Well, supposedly, but. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still in disarray. Yeah. It's not, you know, this is us we're talking about, but. Yeah. Excuse the mess in here. Oh, well, I can't say much, but we're, we're, we're kind of packed. We're pretty much packed, at least. <laughs> I'm stressed because I just, can't even cope with all this packing. I'm not a Victoria. It's basically been left to the last minute. Uh, mine's been left to the last minute this time too. Yeah, it's not, it's not going well. No. But it will be. It will be. But we do have a case packed but not zipped up there. And one that is about to be zipped. And we're wondering how we're going to get all of these into the car. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. It's a squeeze but we're all in. <laughs> We have arrived at the Premier Inn. Oh, I'm having some luggage trouble. Oh, as you can see, we have not packed lightly for this trip. And I have two big cases. Cool. We only need one. Yeah, we only need one. Awesome. Oh, we need our room number, don't we? Or is it on there? Yeah. It's now, I think, 6.37 and we need to head across to Terminal 5 to go and get our COVID tests done. So we're just gonna get an Uber, go over there. We need to go to the BA desk as well because they've changed our seats that we booked and paid for and I can't check in online so we just wanna make sure like if everything's okay or what's going on. And then we're gonna get something to eat probably as well because I'm starving. So we're gonna go do that, then come back here and just hopefully go to sleep fairly early if we can. Um, to get up in the morning for our flight. I'm so excited. Our Uber driver has arrived in about three minutes. One minute. <laughs> One minute. So now we're rushing downstairs. I will stand in the middle ready for whichever one it might be. Which one's it gonna be? This one? Oh, I'm hearing noises over here, this one. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very good, thank you. So glowy in exactly here. Exactly like mine. We're having a party. See, the Uber driver just told us to get in the lift and go down to the ground floor, he thinks, for the COVID test. So here we are at Terminal 5, and we've actually never flown from Terminal 5 because we're flying with BA this time. But obviously at this moment, we are just getting the COVID test. But they do have testing centers at all of the terminals, I think. So we just need, oh, testing center, there it is. That's it. That was a lot easier than when I got to Terminal 3 last time. I wandered pretty much an entire airport terminal looking for it. Moments later. So apparently that is the arrivals one. I'm guessing that means they only test people on arrival, not departing. So anyway, we've got to go up now. <laughs> this is never easy. So it does say here that there is test centers on level three, which is I think where we're going. And there's one 
in zone D2 and D3. We don't know which one we need, so we'll probably just try and ask someone. So just give yourself time when you're coming here to do this because it isn't totally obvious, as you've seen from these vlogs and the other ones. You do kind of have to uh, look around, ask and find out because it's not always where you think it is. And this time we are getting lateral flow tests. So last time you might remember I had a PCR, which was about 120 pounds for the three hour turnaround, which is obviously obscene. Um, this time I think it cost us around 35, I think, something like that. Um, it's still supervised, so someone is gonna watch us do it because that is a requirement for the US. However, as with everything, it can change at any time. So by the time you're watching this, it could be different. And we think this is the test center. So we'll just stop and ask if this is the right one. And we've used the exact same company as we did last time, which is called Express Test. More moments later. Okay, third time lucky, because this isn't it either. <laughs> I'm about to get annoyed. So security north, head for that end of terminal five, and that's the right one, apparently. Hopefully when we get there, they'll let us have our test anyway. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It's just lucky we left loads of time and we're a bit early. Well, we actually left really, really early and I'm um, thinking we'd have loads of time and already it is... In, two, in true Kate and Victoria style. Yeah. We're cutting it to the wire. Of course we are, of course we are. Oh, it's now seven o'clock, our tests are at eight, so we are a bit early. But had we have left home a lot later, we would have been rushing and we don't want that. No, we don't like that. We don't. And it looks like this is the British Airways check-in which we'll be coming to tomorrow, but we are gonna come here and speak to somebody after we've had our test, just to ask about our seat problem. So we're still having some trouble. We think it might be over here somewhere, but as I said in the last vlogs, don't expect flashing neon signs about where you need to go because it's not that obvious, but we think it might be here somewhere. This is security and that's where they told us to go towards. Just so everybody knows, we found the test center. We've just had our tests and this is a coffee house called The George and it is literally just here to the left of that. So that's where you need to go. We walked all the way down, literally down to there and we didn't need to. So it's D2 testing center. Um, this is the one you need for departures. But now let's go and speak to BA, which is just down, yeah, this way. And the test was super easy, wasn't it? It was literally a lateral flow test. I thought we would have to do the test ourselves, like do our own swab, but they do that for you. Um, it takes half an hour, they were saying, by email to get your result. Like I say, it was £35-ish, I think, with a code from BA. If you're flying with BA, you get a couple of pounds off the cost of the test. But it was really easy, wasn't it? To yeah, totally they were, fine. They were properly gentle as well. Right? Yes. He was a bit dreading it when he said he had to do it. Yeah. But in actual fact, he was really gentle, so it was fine. It was way more gentle than when I do them on myself. I really <laughs> get in there, but this was, like, really easy, so it was fine. So now let's go and speak to BA. So we're just going to have a look at the menu for this place. There doesn't seem to be a lot of places on this floor, anyway, to eat. So we're just going to see what this is, which is Kan Kanishka Kitchen. So let's have a look at the menu. And then when we get in there, I'll let you know what they said at the BA desk. So it turns out that I don't like the menu for the one restaurant that is in here before security. So everything else is the other side. So that's not going to work. So we are just waiting for our test results. Then I think we can check in properly. And um, they said you just obviously need to have the result, the negative result, before they can check us in with BA. Um, but because we've got our passports with us, because we were getting our test, we will be able to actually check in for our flight sort out the seating situation and then we can just drop our bags in the morning. So we're just waiting now to uh, get the test result and we'll let you know how long it takes. And because there's no restaurants, we're gonna go back in the Uber to the Premier Inn and probably just eat in the restaurant there. And I don't know, if we can't do that for whatever reason, we'll get Uber Eats, which is fine. We'll find something. Early but we didn't, night. Yeah, we didn't like the menu um, at that place and um, we need to get up early anyway. So getting to bed early would be a good thing, especially for us, because we're like old ladies these days. Kate and I live together now and in our household, going to bed at like 8.30 is not unusual. I hate to say, that makes me feel very, very old, but. And I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry either. So we are now over at the Premier Inn. So we got a taxi back. A taxi was actually way cheaper than getting an Uber for some reason. So we are now in the restaurant just having some food. I think it's about 8.30 or something like that. So the whole process didn't take that long when it came to it. We are having ourselves a little cheeky glass of wine. And um, also, we have a new plan of action. So the COVID tests came back negative. So we are good to go, we are negative, no COVID. And uh, when we spoke to the lady at the check-in desk, she's managed to move our seats back together. So we're in premium sitting together, but not in the seats that we paid for. 
and she did say we asked about an upgrade and at the moment the upgrade to upper like their business is really really reasonable the reason it's very reasonable at the moment is because you can't actually book it until tomorrow she said it's just to do with in case they have to make a change to the plane i think for operational reasons or something like that so the amount that she quoted us kate and i decided we would be willing to pay um, to experience upper um, obviously I'm doing it on the way back but it's a different configuration of um, it's a different plane so on the way back it's the older version and flying out it looks like it's the really nice newer version of Club World so anyway she did say the more people start to take up the offer and upgrade the price will go up and up and up and you can start doing upgrades literally from after midnight on the day that you fly so we were thinking if we show up at the airport at like seven or eight even, a lot of people might have already upgraded and then it's gonna be expensive. So we might do a little bit of a crazy move and go really early in the morning to the airport. I know that seems a bit crazy just to get an, a cheap upgrade, but it would be amazing. I think it's worth it, don't you? I think it's worth it. Yeah, we think it's worth it. See, then we can sleep on the plane a bit as well because it'd be really comfortable. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna try and do and hopefully that works out. If it doesn't, then we would just have to have our regular seats and it just means we'll be at the airport really early, which is no massive issue, so yeah that's the plan and we're just about to have a burger I'm starving now because it's actually um, I didn't even eat lunch today so I'm looking forward to this food so we accidentally just shoveled down our food and forgot to say anything about it or show it so sorry about that sorry it's all gone and um, but it was nice it was good wasn't it we both had a burger we're very tired Kate's looking a bit sleepy there can't lie so I mean, it might be it it might be that but yeah i think it probably is so we're back up in the room after having our dinner which was really really nice but now we need to get to sleep if we're going to execute our plan to be up early and try and see if we can get this upgrade and see what happens with that so obviously as soon as we're away in the morning we will keep you updated as to what's going on but that's it for this evening and i will see you very very painfully early in the morning 3 28 a.m Good morning, and when I say good morning, very early hours of the morning, it is about 20 past three currently. We are gonna try and head over and see if we can get this upgrade at the price that we were offered it earlier. Cause she, I think I explained it, I don't know if I fully explained it, she offered us the price, then realized that she couldn't actually do it until after midnight. So our thinking is if we get there at 3.30, we're likely to be the only maniacs doing that at that time in the morning and we might still get it for the price they offered. If it's loads more, we're not gonna do it because um, it's just not worth it. So we'll see what happens, but at least we'll have plenty of browsing time, plenty of time to have breakfast and coffee. I haven't been to sleep at all. Um, I've been awake all the way through. Kate did have a bit of a sleep, but obviously not for too long. Uh, so let's hope I can get some sleep on the plane. Otherwise, I don't know what state I'm gonna be in by the time we get there, but we will see. But anyway, we're gonna go and get, I guess, an Uber because taxis won't be like lined up outside here at 3.30 in the morning. So we'll probably have to get an Uber over to the terminal. Hopefully we can get one at this time. I'm assuming we will be able to near an airport. And as you kind of saw earlier when we were leaving the house, there is one way to tell when this is a Kate and Victoria trip and it is the amount of luggage we have for two people. I mean, do you think this is excessive? <laughs> it seems a little bit. Can we just take a moment to appreciate <laughs> my beautiful matching luggage? Here? Yes, you do have all three matching. I have my um, less fancy black and rose gold, but I also have my Love Island case, which is everything. Um, but yeah, we do have rather a lot of bags. So goodness only knows when we're doing the return trip, but because we could take two each, we thought, well, let's. Why the hell not? Exactly. So anyway, let us get over to the terminal and see what happens. We'll keep you updated. Apparently we really are the only people crazy enough to be up at this time in the morning. It is deserted down here. <laughs> so Kate is just attempting to call an Uber. We didn't think it all the way through that it is in fact. <laughs> 3.30 in the morning. There is a little mini cab phone here, which I did just call and they said it'd be half an hour. So we're just seeing if we get any joy with Uber. If not, we'll uh, phone these guys back. I feel like whenever I have crazy nighttime or early morning missions on these trips, it's always when it's me and you. Other than when me and Ian did Rise of the Resistance, but do you remember the September 2019 trip when Galaxy's Edge had just opened and they had extra, extra morning hours? 
And what, what time is the park opening? Like 6 a.m.? Yeah, my overriding memory of that is the humidity. And um, within 10 minutes of us getting to the park, my hair turned into a triangle. You did have triangle hair. To the point where I had to go back to the hotel. It was, it, it, was, <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was Hagrid hair. Yeah, it, was it was so funny. Oh, I think our Uber driver's here already. So this is what happens when you don't order an Uber XL. <laughs> we are going only to T5, yes? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we made it. It was a definite squeeze in the Uber with all of this luggage, but it's all good. So let us head to the desk and see what they've got to say. Hopefully we're not going to be bitterly disappointed after uh, not getting any sleep and getting up this early. This is very fancy, this little neon moment going on. And if you don't like airport hustle and bustle, this is definitely the time to come. So we are a little bit excited. We got over to the desk and success yes. it was basically the same price as she offered us yesterday except it's one pound more expensive or something it was like barely anything um so we have upgraded and we are now going club world so we are so excited if it doesn't look like kate's that excited it's because of lack of sleep um i've got some mad like superpower that i just don't need that much sleep but kate is um running on empty and she's not caffeinated but this is kate excited when she's not caffeinated yay so we're just waiting till i think we've got half an hour which will then be 4 30 in the morning we can drop the bags off go through security and then just get some coffee we can use the lounge now that we've upgraded and for those who are interested i know that you are all going to ask in the comments how much did it cost um, I don't normally go into exactly how much things cost, but obviously for the purposes of this and the upgrade. So it cost £289 per yes. person, which is obviously not an insignificant amount of money. If you were a couple or a family of three or four, obviously that would be a lot. However, because Kate and I obviously are each just paying for ourselves, it's a very very good price to upgrade to that cabin class so i've seen that upgrade before if you wanted to pay for it ahead of time i've seen that at like a thousand pounds or more for that the same thing that we just paid 289 so like i said it's not insignificant it's not something i would normally do but because we were sort of offered it and it just seems really really good you don't normally get it that cheap i think it's because they've had to make a plane change or something and they've got more seats in club world than they would normally have available so that's basically why we were able to get it for that price and anyone else who now comes along the more full it gets the more expensive it will get so i think we just really lucked out and if you are willing to get up onto the airport at half three in the morning <laughs> yeah then you might be in with a shot for a cheap upgrade we're crazy so, enough like for me i got a really good deal on my flight um i booked some flights quite a long time ago and i've had a bunch of trips cancelled yeah um so i've just kind of moved it on and on so although nearly 300 pounds is a lot of money it didn't feel like it's as significant as it would have if i'd paid the full price for the flight so yeah exactly that, that's how i'm justifying it to myself yeah and also i'm still kind of in a place where so i paid for this particular flight way back in early 2020 so that's when i first booked it i was showing kate earlier the amount of date changes i've had on this flight there was like nine date changes because it's just changed and changed and changed so it was ages ago that i actually paid for it and because we had such a long time of not being i say such a long time it was a long time for me with how much i normally go and um, that's a lot of flights that i didn't do that i otherwise would have so i'm still in a place where I feel like I can kind of get away with it but when I'm traveling more frequently I never normally would do that because in order to be able to go frequently I have to keep costs down um, but because this trip is one that's been cancelled so many times for both of us we were just like let's do it we're doing it so we're very 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 very, very. excited but we need coffee <laughs> and I can't believe I haven't been to sleep yet so I'm definitely going to enjoy the very comfortable seat on the plane. I'm not going to sleep the entire flight because I don't want to pay for a fancy upgrade and then just be asleep the entire time, but I will need a little nap. I'm going to sleep the entire time. Kate always does. She yep. just, you know, and you that's can just it. put your bed flat and just yeah, be gone. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point. I paid for a bed so I can have a nice sleep. Yeah, I'm going to do that on the way home because it'll be a nighttime flight, but on the way out, I will obviously show you what it looks like and stuff. But also, I'm going to need some breakfast soon. My body is all out of whack and thinks it's like time to be eating. 
Or could we think it's dinner time so it should be up to Yeah, it doesn't know what time it is. It's very confused. Okay, bags are dropped and now we're going through security. It's exactly 4.30 a.m. A lot earlier than we would normally be doing this process, but we're not worried because of the excitement for the flight. Yeah, if this was on the way home and we were awake, this this would feel like Tokyo all over again. If anyone hasn't seen mine and Ian's Tokyo vlog with the all-nighter at the airport, I will link that. So we just went through security in the breeziest of breezes because we were basically the only people there. So that was amazing. This getting up in three in the morning or getting here at three in the morning, it's not a bad idea at the best of times because this is the quickest we've ever got through anything. The fact that we've now got about five hours to wait is no, beside no, the point. No, a mere six and a half hours. Oh, six and a half hours. But that's fine. We can eat food, we can drink coffee, we can shop, we can use the lounge because we upgraded. So I've got a little bit of work to do so I could do that in the lounge. There we go. Who needs sleep? So it's 5 a.m. and we are just heading up to the BA lounge because it doesn't open till 5 so we've just been lurking. This is the south lounge area so I think there's several different lounges here. Concord room sounds awesome but that's not where we're going. We are going to the galleries club. And here we go, this is very fancy. So we've parked ourselves up in these very comfortable chairs. I've got a feeling uh, Kate might be asleep in like 10 minutes time. <laughs> She's definitely needing some sleep. And I think over there, there's like a bar and stuff. There's loads of seating up here. It's very chilled. We are loving this. We're having our breakfast here in the lounge and we've got a vegetarian roll, which is like a frittata, I think, and a hash brown. And also some yogurt and granola and a coffee. This is very nice. If we haven't had to find a breakfast place, we can just come and chill here. One hour later. And this is what happens when you get up too early in the morning. Two hours later. Huh, that is peculiar. So I'm just exiting the BA lounge. It was really, really nice in there. We had a very relaxing time for several hours. So it's definitely good having that um, to pass the time. Kate's gone shopping. So I am now in pursuit to supervise because if she's left to her own devices, you have seen my vlogs before. If you haven't, I'll link some of our old series below. So I don't want to trip off the escalator. Um, it can get messy if she's left alone unsupervised. So I'm going to go and find her. And then pretty soon, it's going to be time to go. I am so excited. What did you do? So I bought some sunglasses and um, there's a good chance that you might recognise them. Have you repurchased a pair that you already had? These are the Uber. The Uber accident glasses. Yeah. So you, were the other ones unwearable in the end? The ones that got run over yeah. by the Uber? Yeah, they, they weren't broken, but they had like, like scratches. I will link that vlog below. Kate's very expensive sunglasses got run over by an Uber. And apparently, when left unsupervised for all of 20 minutes, she's repurchased them. The thing is, I justify this in the fact that <laughs> every time I, I go somewhere special, like, I purchased a pair of sunglasses and I've not been anywhere for like two and a half years. So That's how we justified it. Our, justified it? <laughs> That's how we justified our upgrade as well, to yeah. be fair. So I'm glad. I'm I really liked these sunglasses and I wore them like twice. I was going to say, did you not fancy something different? I didn't like them before. Oh, okay. And I really like these. I feel like they were stolen from me. Okay. Before I was ready. Well, that's fair. That's fair. So we're going to go um, somewhere a lot cheaper. We're going to go into Boots, where Kate can't do anything too drastic in there, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, you probably could. I mean, I they sell makeup. Like so we've just grabbed our aeroplane snacks. I know we're, we've upgraded, so hopefully the food will actually be okay. But just in case, I've got my standby cheese sandwich, which you know... I just can't get on a plane without it. And I just wanted to mention these, um, somebody in the photo I posted on Instagram thought me and Kate were wearing matching earrings this morning because you could just see this sticking out. Um, on the last trip, I did mention that I wished I had a mask holder and a lovely subscriber called Hannah sent me this one which says Victoria in detail and Kate is sporting the other one which says Disney in detail and then little beaded mask holders so you can, I won't do it because we're obviously in the airport but if you take your mask down it can just hang there and we're already finding them really helpful aren't we? Because yeah. you don't lose your mask, you know where it is 
you can grab it quickly. So thank you so much, Hannah. We really, really are already loving these and I know they're gonna be amazing for the rest of the trip. We're just gonna head back up to the lounge. We've got about an hour, just over an hour, I think. So we're gonna get another cup of tea. Just because we can, it's a bit more comfortable than just sitting around somewhere else. As you can see, it's a lot busier than it was this morning. We seem to have gravitated towards the window of Gucci. I mean, smile on that little black one for some time. This one at the front here? Yeah, the mini one. Well, on the plus side, the mini one probably is the cheapest of all of them. It but is actually not ridiculous. And with the duty free, it'd be even less, but I'm not doing it. No, let's, yeah. let's move along, move along. So we're back in the lounge, just having one final cup of tea. And I've just noticed the board is up over there. So I'll go and check that in a second. Because we should get our gates in about 15, 20 minutes, I think. Very excited. We just can't wait to get away now. It actually hasn't felt like that long that we've waited. We're going to the gate. B39 that we are headed to. It's been a long old morning, um, but actually it hasn't seemed too bad, all things considered, but yeah. Heavens for the lounge. Yes, we were very, very impressed with the lounge. It was kind of worth it, I think, for that. Yeah, it's amazing. And it looks smooth. But we just want to board the plane now, see what this cabin is like. Um, like I say, I think it's the newer version of their club world, so we will see, but we're super excited for it, for sure. So B39 is via transit, apparently, over here. I seem to remember we had to do this when we went to South Korea. This seems familiar. Robotic lady always really creeps me out. Yeah, no, that's weird, isn't it? We don't like that. No. no. First monorail of the trip. Not the good kind yet. No, not the Disney kind. Please hold on. Transit is departing. Next stop, gates B32 to B48. Second stop, gates C52 to C66. So there is quite a lot of escalator travel to get to the gates, unlike Gatwick where it's all on one level, so just be aware of that. And they do have lifts as well, just in case you have like a bunch of hand luggage, but the escalators generally are quicker. Okay, and B39 is down here. There is a boots just in case you need any very last minute airplane snacks or what have you. But there's not a lot else here, is there, for this no. gate area? There's a lot of people heading the same way as us for this Orlando flight. I think it's going to be really busy looking at the seat map before we did this upgrade. It did look like it was mostly completely booked. Okay, the guy there sweeping is an absolute legend. He's like singing so loud. Can you hear him? <laughs> What a legend. I'm a little bit bewildered. <laughs> I think it's great. He's been singing the whole time. I wonder if he's got headphones in and he doesn't realise that everyone can hear him. Oh, that'd be, that'd be so funny, wouldn't it? If he didn't realise how loud he was singing because of the headphones. Love it. Time to board. <laughs> yep. Hi. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, this is me. This is you. A little bit beside myself. Are you beside yourself? Are you excited? I know. We've got. We've got a door. Yep. We've got a door. We are beside ourselves. It is safe to say. Oh, we've got a little storage. So I thought we would just have a look at this while we can before the plane is really noisy. This is the Club World seat. So here is the incredible TV. Then over there, these open up as storage. I'll show you that during the flight. Not sure what this is here, we'll see. Then this kind of opens up, I think, as storage as well. The seat is amazing and goes to a fully flat bed. There's loads of room down here for your legs. This is a slidey door thing, but mine appears not to slide, so I don't know quite what is happening there. We'll figure that out though. To show you the sort of leg situation, you've got like a little footrest under here. This is just so, so comfortable. And of course I have, in my little storage place, my Sweetsy Pick and Mix. If you have never tried Sweetsy, their stuff is so good, so I will link them below, love it. It's not sponsored, I just love them. And I think this is the table. So yes, this will slide out as the table for when you're eating and stuff. The TV is so big. And we have a window seat here. We've already got a little champagne and our menu, so we'll take a look at that in a second. And the configuration in this cabin, so all along here, it is one seat, like one behind the other, so there's just one person. 
then in the middle it's like two seats and then the other side is another row like this where it's just one person behind the other so these are really massive massive seats if I just lean over because nobody sat in this one you can kind of see it from above so this is amazing and totally worth what we paid for sure I know that already and we haven't even taken off yet we still haven't taken off there's some paperwork issue I'm not sure what it is um, something to do with fuel or something I don't know but hopefully it will be underway soon we are just loving it we are loving these seats they're amazing and they've just put the reminder out that you do have to wear your mask at all times unless actively eating or drinking those are the US federal government rules so that's what has to be stuck to so you do have to wear your mask obviously that can change at any time so as of when this vlog goes up that may have already changed so always check before you fly let's check in on Kate back there oh she's having issues with the seatbelt are you sorted did you use your hygiene wipe well I was going to use mine to wipe down the table I think you're supposed to use it on your hands but yeah, I'm going to use mine to uh, do a bit of cleaning just to be on the safe side. Can't be too careful. So now I'm closer to this little mini screen. It looks like this has to do with reclining the seat because this seat in Club World does turn into a fully flat bed. So I guess it kind of goes like all the way down here and yeah, you can just actually lay down and sleep. So this is the TV. It doesn't really do it justice on camera. It's really so much bigger than a regular see if I can get my hand in it for scale yeah you can kind of see how big it is so we'll definitely watch some movies I may even eat something as you know I don't normally do aeroplane food but I feel we need to review it so I'll probably have something they do give you like a full big pillow I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with this during takeoff maybe they'll take it away but I definitely want it because it looks cozy so we've just been given a fancy little zip up wallet thingy from the white company we have a little eye mask here which is very handy and some socks and we have a pen some lip balm that can be handy on flight because your lips do get dry some little pulse point spray for relaxing earplugs for general noise or nearby people snoring i guess and a little mini toothbrush and toothpaste so that's really cute and I do like this little zippy up bag thing, it's really nice. Be good for putting makeup in or something. Oh, we're moving. It's taken quite a long time for them to resolve this problem. So we are about 30, I think 30 or 40 minutes behind. But the captain did say they're going to try and make up some time, so I'm sure that'll be fine. Club World menu 
and one of the cabin crew just came around to ask what I wanted. So they actually come up and kind of take your order, which is amazing. This is so nice. First, they have drinks. There's cocktails, mocktails, spirits, liqueurs, beers, non-alcoholic, um, teas, and everything. And for lunch, they have a salad, and you can either have pork, chicken tikka masala, or vegan cottage pie. Then for dessert, they have lemon curd, almond crumble, cheese board, tea and coffee. Then later in the flight, there's afternoon tea and it looks like they have sandwiches, tea and coffee and cake and scones. So definitely I would love a scone and a tea later. Um, and for the lunch, I'm not gonna have any of the kind of main options because I don't like any of that. But I am gonna have the salad, I'm gonna have the dessert and I'm gonna have the cheese. Just in the interest of trying things, I want to be able to show you guys kind of what the food is presented like at the very least. So yeah, we're gonna have that and watch our movie. So this has been amazing so far and we've only been flying for like, I don't know, less than an hour or something and already I'm just loving this experience. It's amazing. Okay, so we have some lunch here. So we've got some really nice bread and some butter there. This is the dessert and these are all in little ceramic bowls. Then we've got cheese, we've got crackers, and we've got salad. Normally you would have some kind of hot food with this, but I didn't want that. But I wanted to give you an idea of kind of what you get. It comes out on a nice little tablecloth and everything. Really, really nice. Later. Kate's just testing out her uh, white company. <laughs> Although you have just woken up, you're not just going to sleep. And you've had a nice long amount of sleep actually, haven't you? How long have we got to go? Just a couple of hours. Five or six, that's pretty good. I had about two and a half, so that's good for me. But they're just having a little cup of tea and a biscuit now. This is kind of what the, the cabin looks like. And I think there's another section further back as well. So this isn't all of the Club World seats. There's a whole nother section kind of through here, I believe. But we're loving it, it's amazing. Totally worth the money. So yes, I have a nice cup of tea and I have some shortbread and some Belgian chocolate biscuits. So this is very nice. And just about to watch something. We've only got a couple of hours left. So I may watch a movie or just a TV show or something. Kate's having some trouble. <laughs> she was just going up and, up and down in the seat. Just, I don't know what's going on. I think your controls are stuck. Something, something's amiss. She's, she's trapped in the recline. the airport smell no. no I can just about Kate's having some luggage issues <laughs> the hazards of bringing so much luggage it's fine. <laughs> it, they don't like carpet no they do not like carpet I don't like no neither do I it is I don't like that we've all landed though we're excited we're just about to get the monorail across and it's very hot as well I don't think it's quite outside I think they've got heating on, it's very sweaty. But we got through so quick, didn't we? We got our bags in like five minutes. Very, very quick. And here we are, just like that again. I feel like we were just here. But for someone else, it's been, what did we say, two years? Over two, two years. years. Two and a half years. So we are excited. Kate's taking a few photos just to uh, 
show you that we've arrived and now we're gonna go and get our Mia's Express. So that is the new service instead of Magical Express. So we'll go and show you what that's like um, for the first time ever. Just come out of arrivals and we're gonna go exactly the same place as the Magical Express. So you want the B side. There are some escalators here, but if you go to the back, there are lifts, which we're gonna need with all this luggage. Uh oh. Kate's, <laughs> Kate's now having a mask situation. You're having a mare. <laughs> she's got hair in the mask, she's got out of control suitcases, she's got jam in her hair, we'll tell you all about the flight when we get to the hotel and go through all of that, all the Covid stuff, what we had to show and all that sort of thing. Mia's Connect is in exactly the same place as Magical Express. I do believe I may have already called it Mia's Express or something incorrect, so if I did I meant Mia's Connect which is the new name. So always look for this big sparkly bit of floor and the lifts are just behind back here. Okay, we can't resist, we need coffee. Especially me because I'm on very little sleep at this point and we're not in a super mega hurry, so let's just, oh, these cases, as soon as you get on carpet, it's game over. 20 minutes later. Okay, we've had our Starbucks, we are revived and we're underway again towards Mia's Connect and I'm loving the sound, as always, of the suitcase rolling on the tiles. This is just a very, very Orlando sound. And there is some signage for Mia's Connect, but it is very minimal, so there's just like this blue sign, but you don't see an awful lot. But just head for Magical Express if you've been before. It's in exactly the same spot, which I can see from here. We are almost there. <laughs> Yay! Disney! And I'm seeing a balloon arch and some inflatable palm trees to welcome us to uh, Mia's Connect. And you need to have your QR code ready, which would have been emailed to you. Do you look really weird? <laughs> they look like they look like velvet. But everyone's been everyone's touching been them. touching them. That's, that, in yeah. fact, they probably didn't look weird until people started touching them. To be fair. Okay, row number seven. So this is exactly the same as Magical Express. I believe these are even the same numbers <laughs> that they used to use. And you can see here that we are Saratoga Springs. We've got Miss Connect sunglasses. So we're uh, being trendy. Yes, not so much with the mask. I feel like it's a weird look. And the buses are the exact same buses. They've just had the decals taken off the side, all the Disney branding and everything. They're on board and we've got some Disney trivia going on. Obviously everything is now branded Mia's Connect rather than Magical Express, but these are literally the same buses, same experience in the same place the only difference really is you've got to pay for it now <laughs> but that's pretty much it yeah. we paid i think it was between 23 and 25 pounds uh, i think it was about 20 23 pounds something so that's not terrible but obviously if you're a family just bear in mind that you may want to look at like an uber but get one big enough for your luggage and stuff because that may be cheaper but if there's just like two of you or whatever then i would say this is probably a good bet Okay, we are here at Saratoga Springs. We're so excited. We need to check in and we've got a split booking again where we've had to book individual nights for the first week and then the second week is one whole booking. So I'm really hoping it doesn't take as long as it did last time because it really did take quite a long time. So we'll see what happens this time. Disney Resort smell. So we've just arrived at our room and um, the luggage, we brought it with us. We didn't get bell services, which was not too bad because we're at the Springs. So we didn't end up at Congress Park, but we're really, really close to the main building. So I just thought I'd show you the room. I know you saw it recently in my other vlogs. And the bathroom, which has had a little refurbishment. Kate won't have seen the bathroom since they've been redone, but they're a lot nicer. Have you not? No. Surely you have. No. I did not know that. I thought Kate had stayed here. And then going into the main room, we obviously have the new decor, which is really, really beautiful. And you have your main bed. And then over here we have the second bed, which Kate is demonstrating. It's so easy to pull down. Let me grab the other side. So I think you move this, but we'll just, yeah, that's obviously you move the coffee table. Um, but that is the second bed. It just pulls down as easily as that. It's already got sheets and stuff so on. It's amazing, isn't it? So much better than the old sofa beds they used to have, which were not very comfortable, but these are just as comfortable as regular beds. 
I find. And you can see the couch kind of folds down under it. Very, very easy. And a cute little stable design above. So this is perfect. And then you can just fold it away during the day so it's not in your way. And um, we're on the third floor here. So we do have a little balcony. Oh, I love these balconies. We've got the little private balcony. I love that. So we've got one of the ones where you're kind of not next to anyone directly, like the patios sometimes are. So obviously like here, that's blocked off. We actually have a really beautiful view here as well. I think we're gonna stick with this room. She said if we wanted to change to Congress Park, we could potentially go in the morning and ask, but I actually really like this. I think this is fine and we're so close to the main building. If we want to go to Disney Springs, we are right there for the boat, which you can get across. Um, the bus stop is literally here the Springs bus stop. So yeah, I can't see us wanting to move. This is actually really perfect. So we are just having a little sit down, taking everything in, just enjoying the amazing smell of a Disney resort room. It's great. We're so happy to be back. Obviously for me, I do feel quite familiar in this room. I just stayed in a very similar one a couple of months ago, um, but for Kate, she's not been for a while. I thought she'd stayed here before, but she says she hasn't, so she's loving it. And we've got the um, Disney World um, Resort TV in the background, which is amazing. So we're just having a little chill, and I think we are going to go over to Artist Palette to eat dinner. We were gonna go to Disney Springs. Um, it can be quite busy over there. It's not too bad, because we can get the boat very easily from here. But because it's our first night, we've just arrived, we are quite tired, especially with the crazy getting up early that we did <laughs> to check in to get that upgrade, which we have no regrets. That upgrade was absolutely amazing. I just cannot say enough about how great that flight experience was from the lounge obviously we got to the lounge at 5 a.m when it first opened and we basically spent all of our time in there just drinking coffee having breakfast who knows how many drinks we had in there and obviously it's all complimentary in the lounge with your upgrade and everything so that was just such a nice relaxing start to the trip um the flight itself Honestly, it was amazing. The seats were so comfortable. You had your whole own little kind of area to be in. You weren't near anybody. It was just so comfortable and the food was quite nice. I have to say, I have only ever flown once upper class with Virgin. It was many, many years ago now. And the food that I recall was nicer with Virgin's upper than it was with Club World. Now, I don't know whether that's to do with COVID. I know there are differences with the food service on a lot of flights at the moment, but overall the whole experience was just great. We got off the plane really quickly. We arrived at the same time as a Virgin Atlantic flight. I think they arrived moments before we did, but we actually managed to get off really quickly. Through immigration, we waited, what, five minutes, if even that, in immigration, barely even that. Breezed through, they didn't check anything COVID related. They just looked at our passport, asked why we were there, how long we were there for, and off we went. Our bags were among the first out, so we grabbed those. As you saw, then we had the coffee and just came along on the Mears Connect bus, which was very easy. The check-in process was super quick, so I don't know what happened last time, but this time they had already linked up all of our different bookings we have for this trip. It's a bit confusing, I won't get into that, but it's to do with how you sometimes have to book DVC rooms. You have to book night by night if the whole thing isn't available. It's kind of confusing, um, but they had already linked it all up for us, so check-in was a total breeze as well. The only other thing that I haven't really spoken about is the process with all the COVID stuff at Heathrow. So when I traveled last time, I was kind of updating in real time because I know everybody was so keen to know what the process was. This time around, we were told to download the Verify app. Now that's something that BA use as like a little checklist to make sure that you have everything that you need. So your COVID vaccine pass, which you get from the NHS app, your fit to fly certificate, which you get from having your negative COVID test, um, the attestation form, I think it's called. Um, you basically upload all of those documents to this app and that is instead of having to show it all then at check-in. So when we checked in for the flight at whatever crazy hour of the morning it was, um, they didn't ask to see all of those things individually like they did when I flew with Virgin. I had to actually physically show those things. Because we had uploaded them to the app, we then didn't need to show them to anybody. So not once were we asked to actually show our COVID passes or our test certificate 
like on our phone or in a paper copy to anyone this time so aside from getting the test done i feel like it was literally no different to any travel day pre-covid other than the few things we had you know downloading the app and actually getting the test done but i wasn't having to show it to people or anything like that so that was really really easy um total breeze to be honest the whole travel day yes we got up very early to get that upgrade we didn't want to miss out on that price if it had gone up which it will do as soon as people start taking up the offer of an upgrade you know a good price it drives the price up so that's why we were so determined to get there early to make sure we got that price that she had quoted us which we did we have no regrets do we i know it was very early but we loved it like i say we loved the lounge we loved the flight it was totally worth it completely yes it was amazing it's been great we don't feel too bad considering i am on about two hours sleep i think since i left home i don't even know what's going on anymore what day it is or what's happening but i'm feeling pretty good considering <laughs> so we're going to go over and get some food i think we'll just do that right here at saratoga springs and i of course will show you artist palette and what they have there and then we're going to just have showers wash hair all that kind of thing and go to bed ready for magic kingdom in the morning which was so excited for it's kind of a bit chilly here compared to when i was here in november it was unseasonably warm if you remember it's actually a bit of a chill in the air but we don't mind that so tomorrow we do have like jackets and stuff we packed accordingly to make sure we have stuff for cold weather and warmer weather because it will be getting warmer next week so yes, just very, very happy to be here. And Kate is already unpacking, I see. She's on on a mission. She's getting ready. I can't be dealing with being disorganized. It's no, good. it's not good. We don't want to be disorganized. When we were getting ready to go on this trip, we were like, right, we are not going to let the room get in a mess. Because normally, between the two of us, with hair stuff, makeup, clothes, ears, accessories, bags, shoes, it can get a little bit out of control but because they've got so much storage here we came into this room and we're like right these are your drawers these are mine we're gonna be organized and not get ourselves in a mess so let's see how we get on with that hopefully <laughs> not too bad try not to die laughing yeah i know all of you are probably like okay give it two days and it is gonna look like someone has wrecked the place but we'll see we're gonna try not to let that happen so we're just gonna head in the little side door to artist's palette which is the quick service here at Saratoga Springs. So we've ordered our food and Kate has got our refillable mugs. We decided to get this trip because we're so close to the main building and you can use them in all of the resorts when we go to other resorts for dinner and stuff. So we decided to get them, but we're just having a little um, browse. Okay, our food is ready very quickly. Oh, look at these Saratoga Springs leggings. That is very niche. I've never seen those before. That's pretty cute. We're just gonna refill our mugs and eat this food. Right, I've had one disaster after another with my drink. First of all, I couldn't find the tea bags and they now keep them behind the counter, so you need to ask. Then I poured what I thought was hot water into the cup and it was hot chocolate, so I ruined the tea bag. Then I discovered they only have Coffee Mate to put in, which anyone will know, Coffee Mate is not okay in tea, but it will have to do, so that's been a bit of a saga. And we have the chicken strips and chips, so they don't have fries here, they have potato chips, but they do look like really nice handmade ones, yeah. and it smells good. Oh, that's even, oh my gosh. It's a special DVC one. So I have seen these um, spirit jerseys, it's a fairly new one. 120 bucks minus annual pass discount and then they have yeah this sweater they do have some really nice dvc apparel actually like we pointed out last time but they've even got some new things since i was last here i do love that spirit jersey and they also have the kevin lounge fly which is awesome and this one with the disney dogs oh i love that a little storage containers for your kitchen yeah. oh yeah it says sugar you can only just noticed it in the middle sugar flour in the front that's cute and they have the 50th Dooney and Burke bags this kids spirit jersey is actually really cool I would wear that if it was an adult size but they seem to just have it as a kids one they do have some specific Saratoga Springs stuff I love that when the resorts actually have you know their own apparel rather than just generic this is quite cute yeah, those I noticed on the way in. They are cool, aren't they? Saratoga Springs leggings. Yeah. And they, well, they're like, I think they're pyjamas because they've got the top to go in there. Yeah, that's, oh, that's really cute. It's got like Mickey and Minnie on their little Surrey bike. 
Oh, look at this. How cute is that? <laughs> Actually, my friends have just had a baby, so we are on the lookout for very, very cute Disney baby stuff. Finally got a reason to buy someone a cute baby present. Oh my gosh, they have Hungry Hippos, Jungle Cruise specific version, theme park edition. So Kate's just gonna refill her drink. But this is just another little overview of artist palette. So it's just like the, like say the quick service and shop and where you refill your mug. And as with every DVC resort, they do have a little more in the way of groceries and stuff, like cereal and just stuff to make basic meals. And they have like a freezer section. Moments later. Hey everyone, so we are back in the room. I am feeling very, very tired now. The makeup and hair have seen better days. <laughs> it's definitely been a very long day. Um, this is the reality of makeup that has been on since two o'clock in the morning and then a nine hour flight and whatever else. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But I'm gonna wrap up this vlog for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing another travel day. I know travel days are always really exciting for people and interesting, especially if you are planning a trip and you want to know what the kind of experience is like. And I know we're all used to flying from Gatwick for the most part, and it's now changed over with BA and Virgin to Heathrow for the Orlando routes, certainly at the moment anyway. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see a bit of the airport and obviously the very exciting last minute upgrade we we had so you got to see the lounge and everything as well we really were so lucky and grateful to have that upgrade it was amazing and um, like i said it was a very very good price otherwise we probably wouldn't have done it impulsively like that but it was totally worth it and absolutely amazing and i'm just very very excited to have a whole 15 nights here at Disney World. I love this part of the trip when you've just got here. Um, obviously we are very tired, but we've got the whole trip kind of stretched out in front of us, still to go, and we're gonna be doing loads of different dining reservations that we haven't done yet. Kate's obviously gonna be back in the parks for the first time in a long time. I know loads of you guys are out here as well because you've mentioned it on Instagram, so always say hi if you see us in the parks. And we just can't wait to get started, get to the parks, get vlogging again and bring you guys even more videos because I know you absolutely have been loving these Disney vlogs again after the break that we've had due to the pandemic and everything and now we're able to vlog again. So as always, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon that way you will always then know when I'm uploading another video if you switch the notifications on. And we'll see you in the morning for a day at the Magic Kingdom. I would imagine we're gonna be up fairly early because of jet lag. Kate's already asleep. <laughs> I haven't managed to get to bed quite yet, but I will be doing very, very soon. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. And now we are about to see the castle for the first time in ages. Well, somebody is. I'm very excited. I've obviously seen it recently, but Kate hasn't for a long time. <laughs>